Hi, Judith. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm not thinking that this is looking too, too rushed. I don't know if you downloaded this PSD. If you made this from scratch, I would say that's pretty nice, and it doesn't seem rushed at all. But if you just downloaded this from like a free website with all these layers in here, then yeah, maybe maybe a little rushed. I mean, this picture view is pretty well clipped. I, I'll say that. Um, one thing about this picture that isn't really meeting the requirements is I don't see a clipping mask or a layer mask here. I mean, we could do a file place embedded and you could bring back in this image of yourself. Um, let's pretend like, um, let's pretend one of these is um, a picture that we want to clip of, you know, in, in theory, this is you maybe, I don't know, it doesn't obviously at all look like you, <laughs> but if we take, you know, our quick selection tool and we do this, I'm actually doing this to the background instead of the actual person. This is super rudimentary by the way, um, but let's say that's what I'm wanting to do and I get my selection with the quick selection tool and I do a select and mask and I can do an invert to bring in the image that I want and I could subtract from my image I can use the brush tool which is literally you paint on it with like and it completely matches your brush strokes or you can use the quick selection tool again where it kind of uses the computer and I'm going to subtract out this stuff because I don't really like it and okay I'm looking closer to what I'm wanting here this feather is really important. I think that your clip could use a little feather on it. Maybe only like a five or six pixel, you know, large feather, but that helps a lot. And then if you put layer mask, if this output settings is not open, go to layer mask. If you can't see the output settings, there is a scroll bar here that you might have to grab and pull down. And you have to open up this little arrow and put this on layer mask. Then you push OK and see when we get in here, you can see that there is a clipping layer mask here and that's what I'm looking for. Um, the one that you have here doesn't have that so you're not really meeting the requirements of the assignment. So make sure that you make clipping masks or layer masks um, and you have to have at least two of those and then you need four layers. Um, I'm liking you know what you have so far. I like the black and white image of you. Um, let me bring that in. <laughs> but like, um, I think the color scheme of the background on this could be more varied. Like it's just kind of a very analogous um, one color purple color scheme in the background. And you might want to consider um, maybe just mixing it up a little bit more from purple. But maybe purple is your favorite color. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason why we're going all purple. The only thing is, is I was thinking maybe something with a little bit more contrast, like these are these volleyballs, maybe, maybe make them yellow. So yeah, just adding in a little bit more contrast in some of the elements might be helpful. Um, yeah, like a light yellow on these balls um, with a yellow gradient um, instead of the purple might be a great way to mix it up. Also, you can try offsetting your image a little bit, like we could, um, you know, maybe just move you over so you're not right in the middle. It might make it a little bit more dynamic. Of course, we're, we're also covering up some of those smiley faces that way too. So we might need to move this smiley face. You know, we might need to move that one over if we move you. Um, we might need to like, you know, move a couple things around. And, and maybe resize a few things. Command T or Control T on your keyboard will um, resize things. And maybe having like some more variety in the sizing so that you know this volleyball might be kind of big and maybe we'll make this one over here which you're already sort of doing but like make it a little bit more exaggerated um, the difference in the sizing um you know this one oops, either be like a lot smaller or then some of some of the other ones you know just kind of experiment because sometimes it looks good to have like a lot of differences in sizes. Um, so you might want to try, you know, 
doing the command T on some of this stuff and just, I'm not saying this necessarily looks a lot better, but, um, and now this is kind of competing with your head, which I don't really like, but, you know, maybe mixing up some of the sizing a little bit more, maybe rotating, oops, rotating some of these things, you do a command T or control T on the windows, um, you know, you might want to make some of them like that, instead of just straight up and down, I mean, you're going to have to play around with it, but um, I think it's looking pretty good though, I'm really liking this, I kind of feel like this should be on top of this for some reason, I don't know, maybe more like that, but, and then I also want to see it next to these um, three dots here, so I want to, I want to see Maybe command C, command C, command V will give me extra dots. But anyways, you can play around um, with this and figure out what you like. I think this doesn't look very good, so I would move that out of there. And, you know, it might be a little too busy in certain areas, but it's not like you couldn't, you know, rearrange things so that they're not too busy. Like this, this might be too much. Um, there, but anyway, I'm liking the elements that you're working with. I think just arranging them properly and, and kind of in the way that you want to to lead your eye around um, the canvas and maybe adding a little bit more contrast will be very helpful. All right, great job. I think you really did good and it doesn't look that, that rushed to me at all. So I'll talk to you later.